Well, good afternoon, everyone. Let me thank you for being with us. Honored to have the First Lady of Georgia with us, as usual, today. Uh, I'll be very brief, but I wanted to give a quick update on a new executive order I've just signed this afternoon. Throughout the pandemic, I've been clear and consistent. We would protect both lives and livelihoods, and we're going to make sure that hardworking Georgians could put food on the table for their families, but also would be able to continue to fight a once-in-a-lifetime global pandemic. I believe we continue to succeed in that mission. Georgia's unemployment rate has dropped for 15 straight months and remains the lowest of the 10 most populous states. We have maintained our AAA bond rating. We cut taxes on hardworking Georgians. We spurred record job growth and economic investment in all corners of our state and funded our priorities of education, public safety, and health care. But we also prioritize our seniors and the most vulnerable from the vac for the vaccinations from the start, made sure our hospitals had adic adequate staffing to deal with COVID hospitalizations, and worked with local school systems to get our kids back in the classroom. Despite that progress, there are some across our state who want to go back into lockdown mode. They want to close businesses, enact new restrictions, and force businesses to upend their operations. The fact is that small businesses across our state should not be punished by local governments just because they're trying to make a living, pay their employees, and save their livelihoods. As a small business owner for over 35 years, I know full well what it's like, and so does our First Lady, to face tough times. I know what it's like for people to own the job site that I worked on to have more money in their pocket than I had in my bank account. I know what it's like struggling to pay those that are working for you, the suppliers that you owe, and still try to make ends meet for your own family. The one thing that can make tough times even harder when you're running your own business is more government. Just as our economy has started returning to normal, small businesses from Savannah to Atlanta cannot su survive another round of shutdowns. We have three life-saving vaccines widely available. In Georgians, as I've said many times in this past few weeks and months, that they should talk to their medical professional, their doctor, their local pharmacist, or whoever they trust the most, and see about getting vaccinated if they have not already. But Georgians know the risks of COVID-19, and they also know how to go about their lives. That's why the executive order I signed today will ensure that businesses cannot be forced to follow local government ordinances regarding COVID-19. Local governments will not be able to force businesses to be the city's mass police, the vaccine police, or any other burdensome restriction that will only lead to employees being let go, revenue tanking, and businesses closing their doors. If businesses choose to follow the COVID-19 restrictions at the local level, they are certainly free to do so. Because just as I have said from the beginning, I trust hardworking Georgians to know what is best for themselves, their families, and their employees, and they know what is best when doing the right thing. Thank you very much. We'll be glad to take a couple of questions. So if I've got this right, you're saying they don't have to comply with local mandates, but they can if they want to. Correct. And are there a lot of local mandates you're seeing across the state that this would apply to, such as maybe the city of Atlanta? Well, we're certainly hearing about that, so the answer to that question is yes. Um, what I think we need right now and what we've had for well over a year is consistency with our regulations and our private sector. We've seen in the past when they get yanked around up and down like a yo-yo, it creates hardships for them. Uh, what this executive order is doing in my mind is giving the private sector and especially hardworking Georgians that are out there uh, just doing more than they've ever been asked to do because of the shortage in workforce to, to know that this is going to be the case, that they are not going to get played with with government regulations. We're going to continue to have these policies in place where they can go about their daily business and not have to worry or start planning um, for a potential shutdown. 
Governor, specifically, was it any um, rules, local ordinances from either Savannah or Atlanta that led to this? And do you have the legal authority to take the step now that the public health emergency has been uh, has lapsed? Well, we definitely have the, the legal authority to take the step or I wouldn't be doing it. And yes, I have been concerned about uh, what we're hearing out of Savannah and Atlanta. Governor Kemp, over the last few weeks, you've said consistently that you want to let local school districts make choices about mask mandates and policies. What makes it different for a local county or munici municipality in this case? Well, this is pertaining to private sector businesses. So, you know, schools are completely different from that. Uh, you know, if local governments want to do something with their own properties, their own venues, uh, their own um, organizations or events that they're doing, they certainly have the right to do this. But this is just bringing certainty and consistency to the private sector. Governor, I wanted to ask a vaccine question. We've seen the president saying he wants to see booster shots for the elderly people in long-term care facilities. A year ago at this time, you were trying to get vaccines into long-term care facilities. What is the state doing now to try and see that they can get those third shots into these facilities? Yep, we, uh, we have been following um, the booster shot recommendation. Our team is working on that now with Dr. Toomey and her team at Public Health uh, on how we're going to do that or what's the best logistical way to do that. And uh, we'll have some news on that in the coming days whenever we 